gaps we face in the country are on the order of 6 or 7 percent of output. Uh, that means spending needs to go down and taxes need to go up by a combined 6 or 7 percent of output. That's about a trillion dollars a year in today's economy. And if you, so for example, the stimulus package, which was enormous by historical standards, was about $800 billion, and it was crafted over a couple of years, and it was giving money away to people. It was raising spending and lowering taxes. What we need to do is a trillion dollars per year taking money from people, either cutting spending or raising taxes. So that's the order of the problem. There's no way we can get from here to there without imposing serious sacrifice on uh, people. And that's where the shared sacrifice comes in because uh, if you only do spending cuts, for example, you can't get at the top one or the top five percent of the population because they simply don't get that much in Medicare or Social Security and, and definitely not in uh, uh, Medicaid. So if you want shared sacrifice, you need to have tax increases uh, as part of the package uh, because, it's, it's, again, it's the only way to get at um, a high income household. The other thing you need um, is to expand the tax debate beyond simply the income tax, which is where it's focused so far. Uh, and this is a peculiarly American thing. Um, every other industrialized country has a value-added tax. Uh, many countries have substantial energy taxes and gas taxes that are on the order of five to ten times the size of the tax in the U.S. Some countries have carbon taxes. Uh, this is where the solution is going to lie on the tax side. You, you can generate uh, a little more uh, revenue out of the income tax through reducing tax expenditures, et cetera. Uh, but we're going to need to consider other tax instruments. And the value-added tax in particular is where the money is. Uh, it raises, uh, in many countries, more money than the income tax. And eventually, we're going to have to look at that. Uh, and we need, uh, for energy reasons as well as uh, fiscal policy reasons, to uh, uh, tax, tax the consumption of non-renewable energy.